happen round four of the FIM Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of Riga in Kegums. Tom Vial grabbed his fixed box hole shot of the year, but behind him it was Jed Beaton, Rennie Hoffer and Ruben Fernandez who fell at turn one, and shortly afterwards, Ben Watson was out of sixth place on the opening lap. Mick O'Hara made his presence felt as he started to carve his way through the field to an eventual sixth place finish. And Nathan Crawford, the Honda 114 motorsports rider, also charged up to around ninth place, but then went missing. But Vial, who was comfortable in second position, lost two places in quick succession to the FNH Kawasaki's of Roman Amostike and Matis Borome. Fernandez eventually found his way past Alvin Osland in the latter stages of the race to make 12th, but it was Jago Kitts who took victory for the fifth time this year. In race two, Yago Kitts crossed the Fox Hole shot line for the first time this year. Ben Watson fell though, whilst trying to hold a nice tight inside line. Also on the first lap, Thomas Kier Olsen went down after tangling with a couple of riders, one of them, Bailey Malkovich of Australia. Vial was in third place, but then once again lost out to the FNH Kawasaki of Warame. The Red Bull KTM rider now in fourth. Ben Watson put in a fight right the way to the end to eventually come home in ninth position on the Montrenegi Yamaha. Rupert Fernandez also put in a good shift as well to come home in seventh. Rennie Hoffer, though, not too lucky late on in the race. Whilst the two Kawasaki's were second and third, Anna Mostyk and Boirame, Hoffer went out. Of ninth position, he would not finish. Yago Kietso crossed the line to take his sixth career win. Van der Moestijk second, Borome third, and the podium looked like this. Kietz, two wins, Van der Moestijk two seconds, Borome two thirds, Vial two fourths, but he does still hold the championship lead. It was 22 points before we arrived here, it's down to eight before we head into round five. So that's your podium, third overall, Borome, second overall, Rome Van der Moestijk, your overall winner though, Jago Kietz, but Tom Vial still holds the championship lead as red plate. Yeah, it was a really good uh, day for me. Um, the first seat had a really good start, I was second, and then uh, after a couple laps I passed uh, Tom for the lead and I could win the race after still a small mistake. But um, yeah, the second heat I got, finally got my first hole shot and uh, yeah, just rode my good pace. Uh, they were fast behind me but I could hold them off and I'm really happy and I'm looking forward to Sunday and hope to do the same. Race one, Jorge Prado crossed the Fox Hole shot line for the second time this year, but Paulland, Valandran, Evans, Jessikonis and Bobrashev all fell at turn one. Hurlings also got caught in the melee, but did not go down. Jorge Prado led, but his lead was short-lived. He hit a rock on the opening lap, buckled the front wheel, and there would be problems for the Red Bull KTM. His teammate, though, was on the charge outside the top 15, looking to score some points. He got alongside even Monticelli, but he was taking with him the number 91 of Jeremy Sewer. Tonus then fell from second in the latter stage of the race. That opened the door for Fevra, Hurlings and Sewer to go through. But after the broken wheel of Prado on the opening lap, it was Tony Cairoli who crossed the line to take his 177th career win, his 332nd top three finish. Race two, this time it was Ivo Monticelli on the standing construct gas gas that took the Fox hole shot. Three abreast, they went into the first couple of corners though, but it was Tony Cairoli who emerged first, ahead of Monticelli, Mitch Evans. Hurlings wasn't far behind though, and before long, on lap three, the 84 found his way past his teammate. Jesse Konis, though, came from out of nowhere, from third to second. With that move, he split the KTMs. Koldenhoff went down, would not rejoin the race. A poor blow for 
Sunday's winner. Geiser had to be aggressive after crashing out of race one spectacularly. He eventually came home to finish in fifth place, passing Pomona Sal around about two thirds point. Two laps to go. Jeffrey Hurlings threw away the race lead. Jessiconis went through, so too did Siwa. Kai Rowley fell, trying to avoid his teammate. And that meant that as Jessiconis was able to cross the line as the race winner. Siwa second, Hurlings third, Kai Rowley fourth. But Kai Rowley was able to win his 90th Grand Prix, his fifth here in Latvia. It was his 167th podium, and he's won a Grand Prix every year as a professional since 2004. Hurlings leads the championship now by 28 points. Kai Rowley is third. Jasikonis and Siwa also gained ground in the championship. So the podium this weekend then. Antonio Kai Rowley, your overall winner, Red Bull KTM. Jeremy Siwa second. Monster Energy Yamaha, Jeffrey Hurlings third, also for Red Bull KTM. Yeah, I'm really happy, of course. Uh, I will uh, dedicate this victory to my son uh, because it's my first victory since I have him. So I hope he enjoy. Still uh, don't understand, of course, ra racing, but I hope he enjoy the race. Nothing. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy. Only, only the crash uh, we could avoid. But uh, yeah, uh, when I was just passing Jeffrey, just throw the bike, so I had to brake quickly and uh, crashed. But uh, it's racing. It's racing. And uh, nothing to complain. I'm really happy. 